Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and what we have here is a Mac that has been um, has a virus on it. Now there isn't a true virus for a Mac but there is a way to trick people into thinking that there is one. So what happens is I don't have this Mac connected to the internet uh, but if you go online with the Safari you would get the message. You click OK on the message, you're gonna get another window that probably has an OK somewhere at the bottom, but you can't reach it. There is nothing you can do to resize the window. You can move it, but unless you get this, get rid of this window, uh, the Mac won't let you um, do anything. So I've been doing some research on how to fix this problem and uh, uh, there are several ways uh, to do it. Um, one of the ways is uh, you can start the computer in a safe mode and uh, to start computer in a safe mode you push shift on a keyboard once the you hear this sound so when you push the power button there is a sound you can get in safe mode but unfortunately the safe mode doesn't do anything it does not it basically works just the same as not in a safe mode and uh, the other thing you can try and do is you can push enter but uh, whoever wrote the page was fairly smart and the page basically just brings up the same window over and over and over again so uh, for someone who is not proficient and uh, um, this is a scary thing. Uh, there isn't much that really can be done to this computer to get rid of this crap. Uh, you can't even get back to Safari to click it off. So I'm clicking right here. Nothing works until you get rid of this window and uh, the... Uh, <laughs> so it, it's a loophole in the system that somebody had found. Now also uh, be, if this happened to you, please read what it says. Windows Security Essentials detected an attempt and blah blah. Windows Security Essentials, it doesn't even apply to Mac, okay? But this virus does work on the Mac, or this type of programming does work on the Mac, uh, because of probably loopholes in how the, uh, the internet browsing works. Um, the only thing that you could do is basically right click on Safari and select quit. After a little bit it will shut itself down. If you go back to Safari, same thing. So here's the first window, I'll zoom in on it. And here's, here's another thing that's interesting. Uh, Windows Security Essentials detected blah blah blah. So again, it's Windows, Windows directed message. Um, and the uh, website is this one. All way me CP, whatever. Um, okay. So if you click, same thing. All right, so how do we get rid of this? Um, well, first, you can take the computer to Apple. Depends on who you get at Apple, you might be offered to buy a new computer. Um, so taking it to Apple might be expensive. Um, checking the software version, this is a 10.7, so this is a Lion. Uh, right now we're up to 10.10, so this operating system is a few years old, so that's probably why that there is uh, loopholes like this. Uh, they may have been fixed in newer operating systems, there's no way of knowing. Um, but at any rate, let's see if we could do... Um, study the problem. So the problem here is that Safari 
opens um, pages that were previously visited. So that the key to solving this problem is to have Safari open fresh. Um, let me go back in here. One might think that if you go to menu on Safari, let me see here. Okay, if you go to menu on Safari, you will see that under window, okay, you cannot do anything until the message window is cleared up. So Safari won't let you close other windows until the message is gone. And that's <laughs> that's making everything stuck. So this is a classic example of a loophole where all of the controls are non-functioning and uh, the perpetrator controls are blocking you from basically creating or doing anything. So you can try and see the bookmarks but they're all grayed out because there's a window that needs to be answered. Now somewhere down there is OK button and pushing enter will uh, push the OK but as you can see, as I showed you before, it doesn't do anything. So let's try and see how we can solve this issue. If we push and hold shift on a keyboard, okay, so push and hold shift and then open Safari. What that does is it skips the previously opened windows and solves the loophole problem. So now let's see what will happen. Go back to Safari. Well, let's quit it. Quit Safari. Go back to Safari and the problem is gone. So that's basically all there is to it to get this problem fixed and addressed. Um, knowledge of the fact that uh, you have to open Safari in uh, fresh mode. Uh, there is no such thing as safe mode in Safari uh, but uh, you basically get rid of uh, the um, windows that were open. Next thing that you want to do is go to Safari let's see Safari menu you go to preferences let's zoom out a little bit and we go to advanced not there um, nothing here Basically what I'm looking for is uh, Reset Safari. And I'm not working on Safari that often, but I know it's there. Just zoom out. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's got to be in here. Security. Nope. Okay. Passwords. I thought I saw. Let's check to make sure that the proxies aren't set. No proxies. Okay, now apply that and uh, I'm still not sold on the fact that there isn't a reset on Safari. 
Okay, remove all that website data. Extensions. Now, this computer also has Kaspersky installed on it, and that thing did not catch it, so. Um, because there was no changes done to the computer, but URL advisor should have caught something. Um, <laughs> not sure. I thought that there were. Oh, here, I'm sorry. Okay, I know there was one. So, what you want to do is go to Safari and then reset Safari. And what you want to do is this and this and this and reset. Once that's done, oops, zoom out. Uh, your Safari is basically good as new. Let's plug in our internet. Okay, and we'll go to Google. Probably just negotiating connection with uh, the internet. Just close that, reopen that. Come on. Okay, seems like this thing has another problem. And that problem, we we'll need to look in our networks. Where is it? Where is it? Network. Okay, we are online, so it should work. Okay, there we go. So everything's up and running and it, it just took a little longer than I expected to um, get connected. So we're good. And this is a good way to test whether your computer has any problems. You type in cars in Google, cars.com is going to come up. If you click on it and it does not take you to cars.com, you got a problem. Um, this one seems to be working, so uh, I'll still run a um, few checks on it. Uh, some cookies, blah blah blah. And uh, basically, this is it for fixing this particular one. But uh, after this, we're gonna need to update the operating system, maybe update memory, bring the computer up to uh, current standards. Thank you for watching.